You can't deny that the majority of patients who develop lung cancer have a history of smoking. Uh, it's also important to realize that fewer than 10% of the population that smokes will ever get lung cancer. So most patients who smoke will never develop the disease. 30,000 U.S. citizens who have never touched a cigarette will get this disease. Obviously, in terms of known risk factors, the smoking one is obvious. So if you do smoke, quit. If you don't smoke, don't start. That's probably a message that we need to get to our teenagers. Um, to understand this. There are certain occupational exposures. Some you can um, avoid, maybe others you can't because it may be your livelihood. Um, things like asbestos, uh, cadmium, nickel, these sorts of industries that are out there have an associated risk of developing lung cancer. Certain other diseases, patients who have uh, COPD or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that are increased risk, people who have other fibrotic diseases of the lung are at increased risk. Family history, even though we don't understand the genes that may make you susceptible that you do inherit, it clearly is uh, a disease that has a family history very similar to breast cancer. So I think all of those things are important. Um, we can control some of the environmental factors, but obviously we can't um, we can't pick our parents, right? I mean, we're, the, the, the DNA we're born with is the DNA we deal with. And so since cancer is a disease of the DNA, um, you know, that the, those genetic factors are um, not controllable and, and to, to, to a certain degree not well understood as they relate to lung cancer.